Michelle. Hi, Chris. So Donald Trump Jr. now himself is releasing what he says were the exchanges between him and WikiLeaks before the election. So even these few messages now that we know about, tell us something, first of all, about WikiLeaks, what they wanted to do for the Trump campaign and what they wanted from it. And of course, here we have yet another interaction between someone involved with the campaign and what the U.S. intelligence community believes is at the very least a channel for Russian influence. The interactions between Donald Trump Jr. and WikiLeaks happened in private over direct message via Twitter, starting as first revealed in The Atlantic on September 20th last year. WikiLeaks reached out to Trump's son, asking what he thought of a new anti-Trump website. He responded the next day, I don't know who that is, but I'll ask around. Thanks. The Atlantic reports Trump Jr. then emailed a number of senior officials, letting them know that WikiLeaks had made contact. On October 2nd, President Trump's friend and former advisor Roger Stone tweeted that damaging material from WikiLeaks was coming. The following day, Don Jr. reached out to ask about it. What's behind this Wednesday leak I keep reading about? Trump didn't get an answer back, but four days later, the intelligence community announced that it believes Russia was behind the DNC hacks. Shortly after, WikiLeaks began releasing hacked emails from Hillary Clinton's campaign manager, John Podesta. Three days later, these now infamous remarks from then-candidate Trump. WikiLeaks! I love WikiLeaks! Then, October 12th, WikiLeaks was back in Trump Jr.'s DMs. Strongly suggest your dad tweets this link if he mentions us. There's many great stories the press are missing. Fifteen minutes later, Trump Sr. tweeted about how WikiLeaks isn't getting enough media coverage. Two days later, Trump Jr. tweeted that link that WikiLeaks asked him to post. That same day, Mike Pence denied the Trump campaign was coordinating with WikiLeaks. Nothing could be further from the truth. A spokesperson for the vice president says Pence was not aware of communications with WikiLeaks and first learned the news from the media Tuesday. On October 21st, 2016, WikiLeaks made a request, a quote, unusual idea asking Trump Jr. to leak them his father's tax returns. The reason, quote, if we publish them, it will dramatically improve the perception of our impartiality. But Trump Jr. didn't respond to any more Twitter DMs from WikiLeaks, including, according to The Atlantic, a message on election night urging the campaign to, quote, reject the results of the election as rigged if Trump lost, something the Russian government was also planning on doing, according to a report from the intelligence community. Trump's own CIA director said this about WikiLeaks. It's time to call out WikiLeaks for what it really is, a non-state hostile intelligence service often abetted by state actors like Russia. A lawyer for Trump Jr. responded to the revelations, saying, we can say with confidence that we have no concerns about these documents, and any questions raised about them have been easily answered in the appropriate forum. President Trump, meanwhile, has been trying to shift attention to Democrats, expressing disappointment on Twitter 11 days ago that the Justice Department isn't looking into issues related to his former rival, Hillary Clinton. The Justice Department announcing in a letter yesterday that prosecutors are now examining allegations related to the Clinton Foundation and the sale of the company Uranium One to a Russian nuclear agency and considering whether a special counsel should be appointed. A source tells CNN that these Trump Jr. exchanges were already provided to congressional investigators, and he, in fact, was asked about them when he appeared before the Senate Judiciary Committee in a closed-door session in September. So only now are these interactions with WikiLeaks themselves being leaked, which Trump Jr. in a tweet called ironic. But there are other members of Congress who are part of the investigation into Russian connections, though, like the top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee that say they, too, want to question Trump Jr. about this. Chris? So something that is certainly clear now, even from the Trump administration, is what WikiLeaks was all about in terms of how to motivate negative energy in the election. What it means for Donald Trump Jr. remains unseen. Another murky situation uh, is what we see surrounding the Attorney General. In just four hours, Attorney General Jeff Sessions is going to face another grilling about the Trump campaign's Russia contacts. The new special counsel request undoubtedly is going to come up, as will questions about the truthfulness of Sessions' past testimony. So let's bring in Suzanne Malvo, live from Capitol Hill. He better have eaten his Wheaties when he gets up there, the Attorney General. 
Absolutely right, Chris, because he's going to be in the hot seat again before the Judiciary Committee. As you know, their responsibility oversight of the Justice Department. So first on that first issue when it comes to a new probe potentially into the... Great soldier from the future.